Hi, I'm Jason Sterling. The game pack being used in this video is provided via complimentary early access from the EA Game Changers program. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Jason Sterling and uh, welcome. Welcome in today. We're doing the Decorator Dream Home Pack. There's Trey right there. He's already looking for his new job. He's, he wants to be a chef, but no, he's not going to be a chef. He's going to be a decorator. We um, are already pulling up the pack here and getting started. Uh, I have this new headset. It's supposed to work better for like blocking the sort of fan noise I've got. So we're trying that out. So, and he's looking for a gig. He's got, I got started quick here. Okay. So he's got his job. He's got his gig. We're jumping right into it. Not a lot of room to talk. I'm going to just move this back a little bit though. So I can hear my voice better because this does block a lot of uh, sound. So he's looking for his first gig. I did have, had a little bit of trouble with it, figuring out what I could do. And then I kind of did figure it out. And uh, you can see all the different gigs, basically the ones that are kind of like soft, they're not bold. Obviously those are the ones you can't do. I was, uh, I was really, uh, I was a little nervous. I wasn't sure what I was gonna get. And it, and it was kind of a surprise you wanted ended up getting, but in the end, uh, it was just a, it's just a room. You always start with kind of a room. So that's it. We'll see what he, we'll see here in a minute. I don't want to give too much ways to get going. What we're going to be doing though, uh, we'll, we'll look at the pack. We'll look at the stuff in the pack a little bit. I'm not doing a full blown sort of like, let's look at every single item because everybody does that. There's tons of that out there. There was a lot of that on the live stream. So we're really going to play it and we're going to play Trey's life a little bit. So we'll see if we can find him. He's got a boyfriend already, but we'll see if we find him a better one. This is his apartment. So during this, these sort of videos as well, we're going to have, we're going to actually rehab Trey's apartment as well. So he moved into this fully furnished in quote, Sam Aishuno apartment, which of course just basically has a bed. Um, right now, you can see I'm running a little bit through build mode. You can see the stuff we have kind of slowly scrolling there. That's about as much as we're going to do. Um, but you can pause it and kind of look at the individual items. Yes, there's tons of swatches with all of them. There's a lot of stuff with this pack. I kind of touched on that already in my initial sort of, not really review, but reaction of the pack from the trailer and the live streams. And there's a lot of stuff in this pack. Uh, he's getting ready for his first day. He's going to have some breakfast. Now, I kind of screwed up coming up here. You'll see it in a little bit. You know, he needed to go to the bathroom. I was have, trying to have him get all this sort of stuff done before he leaves. Right now, he's getting onto his cat. His cat's been digging in the garbage. Uh, his stray cat. He found a stray cat at a park and adopted it. And so, I'm trying to get him ready. I'm trying to get him to eat, do all this stuff. And I end up kind of screwing things up here in a little bit and let's see here how close we're getting now there we go he's on the toilet right because it's almost time for him to go at nine o'clock and normally like on the live stream it showed this a little box should pop up and say do you want to go or stay and that's what i'm expecting and it never comes it never comes i'm starting to think hmm what did it what why is it not showing up is it glitch is there something wrong here and it never shows up, right? So eventually I kind of look around and think, okay, am I missing something? What is it going to tell? Maybe I'm missing it. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong and there wasn't a pop-up box. I mean, it says go to the lot, right? So maybe I'm just supposed to go to the lot. Maybe I'm just supposed to go to the lot. And that's what I actually decide to do is I decide just to go ahead and just travel and search. I know what their names are, right? Just search for this household. And that's what I do. So what you're going to see here is me just kind of going through the world looking for this household, right? So they're not in San Mysuno, got spoiler. But that's where I check first because I'm thinking, well, I'm in San Mysuno. Maybe they're here. I look in willow creek they're not there you know not anywhere in willow creek i look in desert oasis or oasis springs and voila i find them 
I find them, and they're actually in a house I built. Now, I built this house. I don't think I ever uploaded it. I wasn't entirely thrilled with it. It's okay. Um, but they're in one of my houses. So my very first gig is a house I built, and I'm supposed to redo a room. Now, the bad thing about this house is basically the whole first floor is kind of one room. It all kind of connects together. So I'm not real sure what I'm supposed to do with it. But even more so, where's the family? <laughs> There's no family here. There's nobody here. And I'm looking around and I look upstairs. I'm looking all around for them. I can't find them. There's no family. And I'm thinking, what What have I done wrong? What's gone wrong here? And so finally I decided, like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go ahead and just do it. I don't need this family here. I don't need to know their likes and dislikes. I'll do it my own way, and they're going to love it. Maybe if they ever show up, I don't know. And I go in and I take some before shots. Uh, this is kind of the first before shot, and I'm not going to do all of them because then at the end for the reveal, it'll be more of a surprise, right? But this is kind of the first uh, before shot, kind of showing how you can kind of zoom in, zoom out, get a picture, da, 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 da. Nothing special. Then I go into build mode. I delete things. Um, here's the thing that I decided later to do. From here on out, I just move the furniture to another part of the house or another part of the lot because when you delete it, it adds that money to your budget. So it makes it a whole lot easier. And I'm gonna show you coming up on a later video in particular. It was like way too easy. I got such a huge budget, right? So, but this one I did just delete the furniture. And so it added a little bit of money to my budget to work with. But I go through. I'm repainting the walls and just a normal sort of build mode stuff. I've sped it up a lot here to do it more like a speed build. And keep in mind, I mean, for better or worse, for better or worse, whether you like this or not, this is the gameplay, <laughs> okay? The gameplay, yes, there's some interactions with the family that we missed here because they weren't there. <laughs> They're not home. And I just broke into their house and did my own thing. Um, they're not there. But this is kind of the gameplay. The gameplay is just building, you guys. It's just, you know, you interact with the family. You're going to change their house. Um, so that's for better or worse. I don't know how many people are going to consider that legitimate gameplay. But that is what we've got. And we'll, we'll see some family interactions coming up. I, I promise they are coming soon, shortly. But in the meantime, I just did it like a speed build because... Yeah, I thought it'd be kind of boring, kind of watching the entire build out at full speed. I put a few things in. I like the color orange. That's why you're going to see orange here later. Well, we'll see what happens later. And we're going to put in some of the new curtains and some blah, 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 blah. Okay, so. Do, do, do. Yeah, again, you're going to just see an awful lot of me just kind of tinkering around here. I didn't like that, left that off. And at one point coming up very shortly, I decided I'm gonna just take a break. I got all damn day to do this house and this, I'm just doing the dining room. No matter, I think it might be the whole floor. I don't care, I'm just doing the dining room. And so after a while I decided, hey, you know what? I think I'm gonna take a break. Maybe I'll go have some lunch, hang out in town or something. And we're not there yet, but it is coming. It is coming. And then we're going to get into a little bit more of, of what I did wrong. What I did wrong. This is cool. I do like the way I did the lighting here with those sort of bar lights. It really lit up that section and gave a, a more modern feel, which, you know, is in keeping with the furniture in this pack. I'm trying to use a lot of the things from this pack since I'm not going to just sit down and go through it piece by piece by piece. Uh, at least you can kind of see it as I build with it. And I'm going to use a lot of it in Trey's apartment too as, as we work on his apartment. Okay, so he gets out and I'm looking thinking, okay, what have I done wrong? Have I done something wrong? Let me look at our list. See if it's marking things off the list. See if I'm actually getting things done. And, and while I'm doing that, voila! Trey's boyfriend calls, and I think, oh, yeah, I want to take a break anyway. I'm going to go on a date during this gig. And I'll just come back later. I got till 9 o'clock. I got lots of time. So I leave to go on a date, right? And I get there, and this happens. Do I want to go to work? 
Do I want to go to work? I'm supposed to be at work. Do I want to go to work? So this is the box I was looking for and waiting on. And now here it is. So I kind of puzzled at first. I'm not sure what to do. And I think, well, okay, yeah, let's go to work. I'll, I'll join him at work. Let's see what happens. Let's see, if, you know, let's go back to the lot and see what happens. And when I get back to the lot, voila, my client's there. That's her, the seven-year-old with a bag on her head. <laughs> That's my client. And ironically, I said in my video, my, my uh, first reaction, my reaction video, I'm like, well, you know, probably you're always going to be dealing with adults, and that's why kids don't have decor preferences or decor likes, dislikes, is because you're always going to be dealing with an adult, right? And who is my very first client? Seven-year-old kid with a bag on her head. So even more now, I don't know why kids don't have likes and dislikes for decor. She's certainly telling me about them. She certainly does say that she likes, like, mission furniture. I don't remember what else. Oh, she likes she likes research and debate, I think. And I thought she liked the color red. She does not like the color red. I thought she liked the color red. Um, so I'm like, okay, I know what to do, and I'll go inside and work on it. And that's that's my first interaction with the client. You can kind of see all the different things we're kind of doing here, uh, the things that we're going through. On the iPad, those pictures on the iPad didn't really do anything. I mean, they're not really tailored to the sim. They're kind of the same pictures over and over. I mean, maybe a little bit randomized, but not much. It's basically just, eh, you know, eh. So anyway, I'm going to send her away, but watch, because if you watch closely here, I'm sending her away, but you're going to see the ghosts of like the rest of her family, like just a, a basic outline, see them there? So I did something wrong. This is what I did wrong, because they're obviously there, and she's there. I screwed it up a little bit. I mean, the game should compensate for it. I know some of you are thinking that already, and, and you're right. Yeah, it should compensate for my mistakes a little bit. But what happened was, I was on the toilet. <laughs> I think, don't be on the toilet when it's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. Don't have any interactions in your queue. And don't be sitting on the toilet. Get up and go to work, right? Just be waiting to go to work. And that bears out later, but that's what I think I did wrong. I had all this stuff, I had this stuff lined up for him to do, and it blocked the work interaction somehow, some way, for some reason. So I go back in here, and thinking that she likes red, I change a bunch of stuff to red. I bring in a mission-style table, and but I just keep the same chairs, you know. Uh, but I do put in a mission-style table. Now, she doesn't like red. <sighs> I just misread it. Be careful. Can I say be careful? Because I thought it said that she liked red. She doesn't like red. I also put in like all the books she saw there because she likes research. I'm hoping that's what that means and not a computer. Um, so I, I put it in the books, changed stuff to red, changed things around a little bit. And I thought about using some columns there. I decided they didn't look any good. I was going to put like red columns. I'm glad I didn't. So I'd have to change those two coming up because I do change it. Uh, like right now. You can see I'm changing everything back to orange when I suddenly it hits me like, oh yeah, she doesn't like red. This girl don't like red. Okay, great. So she doesn't like red. Changing everything to orange. And then I decide, no, then I'll contact the family and we will have our big reveal. And I go through here real quick, and I do after shots. So I'm not going to show all the after shots, but there's that one. And that's the first thing you do for the reveal. You know, you do your after shots, and then you select your photos for the reveal, which is, a, like I've said before, it's a cool kind of interaction. It's a cool kind of UI that pops up. And then he's going to go out, and he's going to call. He's called the family, so they're going to meet, like where they met before. They must, they must, the game must interpret that as the front of the lot. And the whole family's here this time, right? In various states of undress, as you can see. Dress and undress. I think it's hot. So one of them must have a swimsuit as her outfit du jour when it's hot. And we have the reveal. And, and you'll see here there's kind of this little sort of sparkle thing. You're like, ta-da! You know, sort of a little sparkle. There we go. There's a little sparkle thing. And they go inside and they kind of look around. Now, to me them going inside to look around seems a little bit random like they don't really go to where there's changes and like that one chick's headed upstairs and this is only a one level 
one room challenge, although I guess I could have picked a room upstairs. So maybe they're kind of walking around looking for where the room is. And then you see kind of the glitch. Well, real quick, this is the reveal. Let me do this. Let you guys watch this because it's really cool. And it looks so much better. I do think it looks better. I think this looks a lot better than what I originally had. They actually really like it a lot more. Um, so yeah, that turned out, that part turned out well. Now you can see for the reveal coming up here, they're all outside. And I guess part of that is because the room's so small, although they're all in there here later. <sighs> so to me, that's a little bit of a glitch. I mean, they're just staring at a wall for the reveal. And is it ever gonna be changed or fixed or whatever? No, probably not. Okay, so you're gonna just go, and it was actually in the live stream that kind of happened too. And, you know, so what can I say? I guess make a room that's like giant, like a warehouse, and maybe they'll be in there for the reveal. Knock down all the walls everywhere else or something. Um, I don't know. I, it didn't bother me that much. They do come in and look at it. And since they do come in and look at it, I just don't know why they don't do that from the start. I don't know. They come in and look at it, though, and then you have to wait for these little checks to appear over their head. And I cut part of that out because it took a long time. It really took almost too long waiting for them to have their checks. And then you go and you ask them for their opinion. You can tell that one girl liked it. Um, she really liked it. So you ask them for their opinion on it. And did they like it? And they'll tell you. And one person did not. Coming up here, uh, you can watch the screen. One person did not like it. So I think it's that one right there. Yeah, see, they didn't like it. Probably because I forgot and the flower on the table is still red. I forgot to change it to white or something else when I changed everything else. So the flower arrangement on the table was still red and someone I think did look at it and was like shaking their head or something like that. So either that or it's because I only did a small part of what the game interprets as the overall room, you know? Cause like I said, the entire first floor was kind of the room in this build. And I wasn't sure if I was supposed to make that big of a change or that much. But doesn't matter. I got a good job. I got a good job on it. I got to increase my, you know, reputation. I got some money. And that was that. So I'm like, okay. And I head back to Trey's apartment. And it's pretty much over. Um, you know, back to good old 701 Zen view there. And, you know, this is uh, pretty much it for this video. We've got... Trey's going to interact here a little bit with one of his neighbors. His neighbor's kind of a sketchy looking guy from next door, but Trey's kind of like, hey, hey, buddy, I, you're a new neighbor. And the guy's kind of nice. And he actually goes in and gets his garbage and brings it out. So what can you say? Um, I thought he was going in to steal stuff because this neighborhood has that nap program where you get to steal things, but he didn't. He just took out the garbage. That was sweet. That was nice. Um, and there's not much else left for this video. Uh, just him finally meeting a neighbor. We're going to meet him some more next time. And then also next time, uh, it should be coming up here. Next time we're going to go into the uh, cast system. And we're going to see Trey try on kilts and some of the men's cast items. And, and you'll get to see me in my kilt. I actually have a kilt as well. And so uh, you get to see me in my kilt coming up on the next episode. And then we're also going to do uh, some of Trey's apartment. We're going to uh, remodel some of Trey's apartment. And then we're going to go on his very first, or not his very first, I mean his second. Go on his second, like, um, mission, his second gig, decorating gig. And it is a surprise. It's a surprise. Uh, I've got a little flash here coming up. His second gig consists of uh, a single mother. Uh, with two children, one of whom's a baby that's starving to death. And I don't want to give too much away. I thought this was speed up a little bit faster here, but ah, there we go. But as you can see, this family lives on an empty lot. <laughs> they live on an empty lot on the docks in Windenburg. And you cannot place walls of any sort or fencing or roofs or like platforms or anything that is like a room on a room gig you can only do the interior of a room so i have an empty lot to work with on the next episode that ought to be an adventure i hope we see you then thanks for watching